going on YouTube? I hope everybody's having a glorious weekend. Now, I got something to show y'all. I'm not gonna beat around the bush too much. Straight up to the point, I got a new vehicle and I hope y'all like it just as much as I do. Here it is. It's a 1987 Chevy El Camino. Obviously, you guys know what El Caminos look like. Picked this thing up pretty cheap. Well, what I thought it was pretty cheap. I guess it was a fair price. Um, it's pretty clean, a straight body, never been in an accident. It's got a few damages, no big deal, nothing we can fix. Now driving this thing around is a freaking blast. I mean, I haven't been anything this low in a very long time, so I'm, I'm excited to drive this thing around. It is completely stock, nothing's ever been done to it. That's just a sticker though, it's not original. Here's what the inside looks like. Thing is dirty, I gotta clean this thing up. Floors are mad dirty, but what do you expect from a 32 year old car, you know what I mean? So, it's got the original radio on there, it doesn't work. But I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> it's got the pillow seats. Not the best, but I'm not complaining. It's got um it's got power window, power locks, power locks don't work though, power windows do work. Show you the other side real quick. Now, why'd I get this thing? I honestly, I just want to daily drive it. Um, can you say 12 valve Cummings on this thing? No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Honestly, I'm just gonna daily drive it for a little bit so I can give Maggie there a break and she needs to go down for some maintenance. So I'm just gonna drive this thing around for a little bit and uh, enjoy it. You know what I mean? So, and then maybe later on down the road, maybe uh, throw a 12 valve Cummings in here or something else. I haven't decided yet, though. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's pop the hood. Sorry, pop. This thing is clean though. Like, look at this bed. A few scratches. This is the passenger wiper i don't know for whatever reason um when i try to look for these online these are like 70 to 100 bucks depending where you're trying to get it at and the driver's side one that still works over here they're like 15 20 bucks like what's the big difference i don't get it i'm not spending 80 dollars on a wiper wiper arm though that's that's for sure so i gotta figure something out this original 305 engine I know it's not a Dodge, it's not a Cummings, but it's still a truck. And I love this thing. I always wanted one of these things, to be honest. So I couldn't pass it up, you know, especially being original. Like everything else I was looking at had either 350 small block in it already, you know, they turned it into a drag car or whatever. Like this thing is original. Like when I'm saying original, it's never ever been messed with. Or then oil changes and stuff. It's hard, nice. See, so yeah, it's got a nice battery switch right here. It's old cars like to drain batteries when they sit for a while, so it's good to have. Yeah, it's not bad. It does look like it's got some oil leaks, but honestly, after sitting for a few days, there's nothing. There's nothing on the floor, so. We'll get to that motor mounter shot. Um, this thing shakes a lot. So I'll be replacing the motor mounts. Uh, let's see what else. Let's look at this thing cranked up. Let's crank this bad boy up.
Check engine choke. Still smells like dog puke in here. I took my dog out for a ride and he threw up all over the freaking place. I gotta clean this thing up. There are a few pumps. Let's see if she can try that. Uh oh. She's not. She's not working with me right now. This is the first time she must be camera shy. Never done this before, I swear. Something going on with this thing. I guess I'm not daily driving it. <laughs> Smells like gas. I think I flooded it. Hmm. Yeah, it's just flooded. Wait a little bit. Anyways. What else? Nice back window. We'll get back to the starting part in a little bit. It's got some brand new uh, BF Goodridge radios, TAs. These things are brand friggin' new. What else we got here? AC doesn't work. Heat works really good. About it. That's that's her right there. Nice and clean though. Straight body. Things got like two dents. Very very minor rust. It's got some surface rust right over here. The floor pans are pretty much brand new like they still have paint no rust anything like that I checked them out when I went to go pick it up yeah like it's a little bit of rust right there nothing major nothing too crazy able to get it started <laughs> here's what you sound like completely stock stock and soft still got cats and everything Back in here, a couple other things that are wrong. Temperature gauge, I drove it around for a while, it never, never moved. And the oil, PSI, it's always sitting at 60, no matter what. So that's a couple other things that I can fix. And the selector, gear selector, is stuck in between drive and, and drive. <laughs> so, yeah. It says 43, 700 thousand miles or whatever, but I think this thing probably went around at least once. So it's at least 143,000 miles, maybe 243,000 miles. I don't even know, but I know it's not just 43,000 miles. Uh, what else? Bolts is a little bit all over the place. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. gonna start checking because of the motor mounts um, what else what else we got here I said heat works AC does not 
radio. Doesn't matter what I do with these buttons. I don't know, maybe somebody else knows how to get this thing to work. I gotta figure it out, but it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It's not a big deal though. What else? That's about it, man. Like, headliner. Let me back out here a minute. Headliner is pretty solid. Nothing too big. Missing a handle right there off that door. I think it'll clean up really good. I'm not too worried about it. Especially if I'm gonna be driving it for a little bit. And then eventually, obviously, it's gonna be turning into something big. I don't know what, though. Could be a diesel. Could be a big block. Could be, I don't know. LS. I have no idea. Maybe I'll just throw some 40s on it since I'm not really used to riding this low. Maybe I'll put some 40s on this thing <laughs> and watch people get upset. Um, but yeah, there's Maggie. Hey girl, how you doing? But yeah, this is this is it. El Camino. Um, I don't have a name for it yet. I was thinking, what was I thinking? I don't even I don't even remember. <sighs> I forgot. I had like a super old lady name for it and I forgot it, I already forgot it. Whatever, I'll come up with something. Maybe you guys can hit me up with some names. But yeah, there she is, man. Like, obviously I'll make, I'll make some videos on it. Uh, headlights only works on high beam, so I might be buying a new switch. Maybe that's the problem. Uh, other than that, it's drivable. Already drove it a couple hours. To make sure it wasn't gonna overheat or anything like that check out these power windows though yeah that is nice slow and steady there you go any day now let's do it come on you can do it there it is there it is boom power windows I'm happy no check engine lights. No. Nope. No service engine light. None of that. We're good. We're solid with this one. We are solid. Yeah, so that, I mean, that, that's about it. I have, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with her. So maybe you guys can hit me up. Let me know what you guys think I should do with it. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what, where the road takes us, all right, with this one. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a unique project, but for now, I'll probably make some videos on it, like just like replacing the stuff that's broken and stuff like that. And then we'll go from there, like we'll see what happens, all right? Um, that one, Maggie over there, she is going to be getting some maintenance done. Uh, overdue maintenance, uh, it does need a lift bump. I haven't forgotten about that. Um, so it's gonna be nice to, you know, just let her sit there for a little bit. I'm not just, cause I, I drive to work like, I don't know, it takes like eight minutes to get there. So 
it's, it's not like highway miles. It, it's kind of putting a strain on her, just driving it for like eight minutes back and forth. Um, you know, starting it and turn it off and then start again. Like that's not good for diesels. So that's why I got this one. So um, yeah, expect some videos on Maggie and El Camino in the near future. Thank you for watching. Give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. If not, give it a thumbs up anyway. <laughs> Help somebody out. All right, take care. Peace.